Hi everyone, welcome back to my learning video series. Today I'd like to talk about very basic piano technique. Most of the piano lessons about technique are concerning about how to play quicker, how to strengthen the fingers or how to conquer the difficulties. But seldom we hear about how to release the tensions in the hand or shoulders during the playing. This point is most often disregarded or overlooked. But in fact, it is fundamentally important for all piano players. Perhaps you have your own experience with a sudden blockage in the hand directly at the stage performance. It's really horrible. We should learn how to move economically to minimize the efforts and how to play at ease. In the long term, it is beneficial not only for the technique, but also for the well-being for the players and especially for the sound quality. Now let's get started. From bar one, G flat major is actually the most comfortable key to play on the piano. The black keys are outstanding and easy to feel out. You have just to lay your finger on them and to give a very little pressure. It is neither necessary to steepen the fingers nor lift up the fingers. From just let your fingers dropping down on the keys one after the other. Now I will show the most essential pre exercise by Peter Feuchtwanger, which will benefit the sensitizing the awareness of the fingertips and the precise control on the fingers. Lay the fingers on the key surface. All the fingers should be loose. The thumb is hanging loosely outside of the keyboard. Here, the important point is that you let the hand weight just so much as the key can keep stand. Not so, it's too heavy. Pay close attention to the connection between the fingertip and the shoulder, especially in a side from the finger pad alongside the palm, the forearm till to the axillary. You can check the fingers if you they are really free and passive. First, depress the key with the finger of the other hand. The finger will sink with the key. The hand is absolutely calm and looks like as if it were not involved with this action. The next st step. Depress the key likewise, but tipping on the nail. The third step, depress the key without the help, but try to imitate the former state. The hand must stay calm. And reverse. If you practice this exercise every day, just for a few minutes, you can develop your motor sensitivity enormously, not to say with the left hand. Now back to the etude. To release the tension in the hand and at the same time to get the accuracy, you can practice at first in a small group of the notes. For example, each three semiquaver.
you can support with the left hand to gain the uh, real relaxing feeling. Then you can offset the grouping. Or you can make a four notes group. Or a five. And so on. It helps when you incline the hand slightly to the second finger direction and not to the fifth finger. Yeah, not in that direction, but so. You feel the center of the gravity around the second finger. From bar one left hand, Grip the chords instead beating with the steeply shaped fingers. And not so. Imagine plucking the strings like pizzicato. It keeps the fingers flexible and agile. The sound comes out very clear in this way. The first four bars makes one phrasing the movement of the left hand should going fluently. It makes the circular movement. This clockwise circular motion, which comes from the rotation of the shoulder joint, is much more natural and comfortable than separate zigzag motion. Compare it. It's very exhausting. Instead, bar seventy to eighteen and twenty one to twenty two, right hand. Permanently outstretched fingers causes the tension in the hand, especially in the thumb. For example, so the hand has too much tension. Instead, yeah, you see the difference? Or practice each six semiquaver grouping and after the octave, close the hand immediately and make a short pause to relax. Bar 19 to 20, right hand. Make a one circle motion with six notes group anti clockwise. Bar 23 to 24. I'll show the fingering by Peter Feuchtwanger. This fingering teaches you to close the hand. This helps to release the tension during the play. Please try it. Here I will show a supporting exercise by Peter Feuchtwanger in such situation 
It benefits for the quickness and dexterity of the thumb. Play octave and switch the thumb with the third finger, keeping the depression on the key, and play the key E, fifth, and octave. The thumb switches the th third finger and again play the octave. The middle key, the C, is the center of the movement. This with the left hand. The wrist should be calm and the thumb is going downwards after touching the key F so that it makes an elliptical circle and not moving in a linear motion. Yeah, not so. So here you will keep too much tension in this region. Instead, let the thumb going down. From bar 17 to 33, left hand. Long chain of circle motion. Keep attention to the two crochet group. Use the elasticity of the wrist. Circular motion is going round and not zigzag form. To compare with it's very exhausting for this region and with circular motion you can release the tension here. Please look at the fingering from bar 19 to 20. Here you can use the first finger for the deep tone. It is much comfortable than with the fifth finger. From bar 41 to 48, right hand, the hand is going around anti-clockwise with six semi-quaver groups. It is much more comfortable than Instead, yeah, you can each time relax the muscles in this region. Bar 57 to 64, right hand, the same principle of circular motion and the quick thumb.
here you can release the tensions in this region in, to compare it with this. Yeah, if you continue to play this play wise, then uh, the the tension will stuck in here. At the end of the piece, from bar 79, right hand anti-clockwise for each three semiquavers, and the left hand clockwise with each three semiquavers. Left hand. So much for uh, this time, and you will hear the complete piece now. Thank you for watching. <laughs>